Oh, Paco, I just wish you could talk so much. I think I might be able to use this magic wand to make you talk, Paco, but I don't know if it's a good idea. The magic wand wasn't a good idea whenever I made myself disappear, or whenever I made that homework machine, too. But you're just such a good friend, Paco. I just wish you could talk. Think of all the things we could talk about. Maybe I could ask Jillian what she thinks, but I'm afraid she'll say no. But maybe I could ask her without really asking her. Addie, did I hear you say my name? Whoa, how long have you been standing there? I just popped out of my room. I thought I heard you say something about me. Hey, wait, are you still doing the adorable routine? Because I gotta admit, you look adorable, but your voice sounds different. I was trying too hard before. I'm just letting myself be naturally adorable. Well, that doesn't sound conceited at all. Seriously, it doesn't. Anyway, did you have a question for me? What if I wanted to use the magic wand for something? Do you think that's a good idea? Probably not, Addy. It got us in trouble the last couple of times. What's your plan? Well, that's the thing. I'm kind of afraid you'll just say no. Well, if I'm gonna say no, it probably is a bad idea. What is it? Well, it's not gonna hurt you or me or anyone. Okay, well, that's a good thing. We agreed we'd use it to make the world a better place. Ooh, and it will definitely make the world a better place. Well, if it's not gonna hurt anyone and it's gonna make the world a better place, um, it's probably okay, but I'd still rather you told me. Well, if I tell you, it won't be a surprise. Ooh, is it a surprise for me? Yeah, it kind of sort of is, in a way. It's not just a surprise for you, it's a surprise for lots of other people. Well, Addy, I'd say use your best judgment, but you are only 10 years old, so just be careful, okay? Well, sounds like we're moving along with this, Paco. And if it doesn't work out, I can always switch it. I wish I could understand what Paco says. Paco, do you have anything you would like to say to me? I guess this isn't going to work. Maybe humans aren't meant to understand cats. Hmm, I understand you all right. Uh. Paco, is that you? Yes, what's this all about? I'm trying to get my nap. Oh my gosh, it worked! Paco, I've always wanted to talk to you. Yeah, you always could talk to me. I mean, I always wanted you to talk to me. Well, what is it you want me to say? Well, I guess one thing that I want to know is why were you dancing like that the other day? Well, why were you dancing like that the other day? What are you talking about? You dance all the time. Do I ask you why you're doing it? Sometimes you just gotta dance. I guess it's just unusual for a cat to dance. Well, it's unusual for a cat to talk, too, but here we are. Hmm, I've been waiting to talk to you for so long, but now I don't even know what to say. Typical human. Ooh, ooh, this one has always bugged me. Why do cats just run out of a room sometimes like they're on an urgent mission? That's because we're on an urgent mission. Jeez. Well, what is it that's so important in the other room? Hmm, you act like you never just leave the room without telling anyone why. Hmm. I'm starting to think that cats and humans are more alike than we think. Let's see, we both like naps on the couch, we both like eating... Yeah, that covers most of the important stuff. Paco, now that you can talk, will you be my friend? We can share secrets, we can tell jokes, what do you say? Well, I guess I've always been your friend anyway, but... Yeah, let's tell jokes, you go first. Hmm, I can't think of any right now. Hmm, let me think. What do cats like to eat for breakfast? Hmm, I don't know. What do cats like to eat for breakfast? Mice Krispies. Get it? I've never heard that one before. Where'd you learn that one? Oh, you know, I went down to the Cat Comedy Club and heard someone saying it. Really? Cat Comedy Club? Why do cats clean themselves all the time? 
Well, it's because you humans are always petting us and you don't wash your hands properly. Well, cats sure sleep a lot too. What's up with that? We are designed to hunt. And since you feed me all the time, I don't need to hunt. So I sleep a lot. I can't believe I'm sitting here talking to you. I better get Jillian and tell her. What are you doing standing there? What are you doing opening the door? I was looking for you. Paco can talk. Come on in and see. The magic wand. Is this what you were talking about using this for? Making Paco talk? Yeah, but it worked. He really can talk. Go ahead, Paco. Oh yeah, you sure is chatting it up there, Addy. But he was talking. Come on, Paco, say something. Yeah, that just looks like a sleeping cat to me. Not a talking cat. Yep, that's a sleeping cat. It's easy to get confused. Well, I'm gonna wake him up and get him to talk. Wake up, Paco, say something. I heard some purring. Is that what you mean by talking? Purring? No, that's not what I meant. He really was talking earlier. Now he's not talking. Well, maybe the magic spell wore off or something, or maybe you did it wrong. I don't know. I don't have time for this. Paco, why didn't you talk? Why did you do this to me? You're just making me look bad. I can only talk to you. What do you mean you can only talk to me? I wish that you could talk. Oh no. You wish that you could understand me. Not that I could talk. Totally different. Really? I don't remember wishing that. Yeah, that's what you said, so until you change that wish, I'm only talking to you. Fine. I wish Paco could talk in a way that everyone will understand. Well, are you going to go get your sister or what? That's just what I am going to do. Jillian, what are you doing standing there? Oh, I was just remembering the time I was trying to be adorable. Yeah, you're still adorable, but you're weird. What do you want, little sis? You were right, Jillian. I didn't do the wish correctly. But this time I redid it and Paco can talk. Great, bye! Wait, Jillian, aren't you going to come see him talk? Oh yeah, I guess I should. Okay, Paco, Jillian is here again, and this time you can really talk to her, so let her have it. Oh yeah, total difference. He's really talkative. Come on, Paco, you can do this. This is what I wished for. You could talk to everyone now. Yeah, Paco, sing me a song or something. Or whatever it is talking cats do. I don't get this. He's supposed to be talking. Come on, Paco, say something. Well, this was a nice use of my precious time. Jillian, you were literally standing in the hallway doing nothing. Yeah, and now I'm staring at a cat waiting for it to talk. What do you think's better? I need some time alone to talk with Paco about this. Are you kicking me out of the room? Well, you said you had other things to do, so shoot. Jeez. There's something wrong with that girl. Yeah, I agree. There is something wrong with that girl. Paco, you're talking again. Why didn't you say anything to Jillian? Yeah, I could've. I just didn't feel like saying anything that time. Paco, now she thinks I'm a big liar. Why didn't you talk? Well, here's the deal. If I talk to her, you're gonna want me to talk for your parents. Next thing you know, I'm on the talk show circuit. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Look, I got it pretty good here. I don't want to be some kind of freak show with scientists asking me questions. No thanks. Oh, so you can talk, you're just not going to talk. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But wait a minute, you're talking to me. How come you trust me? Yeah, well, first of all, no one's going to believe a little ten-year-old girl that a cat can talk, and second of all, I kind of like you. Aw, I like you too, Paco. That's so sweet. 
Yes, I'm very sweet like that, but I'm also very sleepy. So, the magic wand really worked. I wonder if I can make Miska talk with this thing. Oh, uh, you mean the dog? You really want that dog to talk? I wouldn't do that. Why not? It's fun talking to you. It would be great if I could talk to Miska, too. Uh, trust me, you don't want to talk to her. She really doesn't have much to say. Wait, you can understand Miska? What is she saying whenever she barks? Of course I can understand Miska. I can understand all sorts of animals. And as for when she barks, mostly she's just yelling and saying, hey. What about whenever she whimpers? It all means stuff, but trust me, it's just not very interesting. They're not very smart. Not as smart as cats. Paco, something is bothering me. You're talking, but your mouth isn't even moving. How does this work? Yeah, there's all sorts of communication. I just don't want to get into this right now. It's really kind of boring. Paco, there's something you mentioned. You said you can understand all kinds of creatures, right? Cats have many important senses that humans don't have. We can understand a lot of things. Really? Is there anything I need to know about? Well, there is something else. But you'll probably get upset. What are you talking about, Paco? There's someone else living in this house. What? You mean like Mommy, Daddy, Jillian, Miska? No, I don't mean them. There's someone else. Is there a mouse in this house? No, it's not a mouse. But sometimes I hear voices. Voices? Yes, voices. In the walls, mostly. You hear voices in the walls? See, I knew you'd get upset about this. I shouldn't have said anything. Paco, if there's voices in the walls, I need to know more. Why are you hearing them exactly? The one right behind me. What's the voice saying? Just don't worry about it. It's not going to bother you. I don't think so.